Seven Overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, formerly known as the Lateran Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakari today came hard on uh, President Bola Amitunabu over the few stops at the removal, describing it as impulsive. It said the poor people were being made to suffer for the corruption of a few powerful people benefiting from the subsidy regime, noting that the president should have gone after those individuals and not Nigerians. In his stage of the nation address, tried to advise uh, virtue and time, the three things that never stand still, Bakari stated that the removal of subsidies tantamount to killing Nigerians. Mr. President, if you are truly on the side of the poor, if you are serious about the welfare of the people, if you truly want the poor to breathe, as you have once said, then kill corruption and not Nigerians. <laughs> Fellow citizens, the rallying cry by which the same Nigerian group galvanized Nigerians in January 2012 at Ghanifami Park or Jota was kill corruption on Nigerians. This was our cry when we made it evident that our fight was not against the removal of the first subsidy, but against the corruption in the system. This was our fight when amid the threats to my life and family, right there at Ojota and live on national and international television, I called out by name those individual and corporate entities who had allegedly ravaged our nation. Mr. President, given the complexity of the Nigerian economy, we are not thoroughly convinced that your palliatives will be sufficient to cushion the effect of your policies on the Nigerian citizen. <laughs> what we do know, however, is that on May 29, 2023, you swore an oath to be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. May I remind you, Mr. President, that Chapter 2, Section 14, Subsection 2, Subsection B of the Constitution states that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. Therefore, in compliance with your oath of office and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our demand on you the current, and it's just current, the current occupant of the office of the president, our demand on you is the same demand that we made 11 years ago. Mr. President, kill corruption and non-Nigerians. He also spoke on Ecuador's resolution to Niger's crisis. The cleric condemned the proposed military intervention in the Niger Republic by Ecuador and therefore called for deep introspection on the part of African leaders. West African states echo words to violate an ancient principle of diplomacy that is recognized even in the holy book that you must offer peace before declaring war. By placing military invasion on the table from the very start before subsequently exploring diplomatic options with the coup plotters in the Republic of Niger, President Tinubu once again put the car before the horse, thus placing Nigeria and the subregion in a precarious situation. Truly, those that are loudest in their threats are weakest in the execution of them. Any foreign invasion to succeed in the long term, the support of the locals is essential. From the spillover effect of subsidy removal to the effect of sanctions, local support for Nigeria and our leaders among Nigerians is at an all-time low. It is therefore counterintuitive to engage in what could be a protracted conflict. This month, the Tinumbu led ECOWAS ought to have learned from the aftermath of America's invasion of Iraq in 2003. While we condemn the spate of coup d'etats in West Africa, we recognize that the situation calls for deep introspection on the part of African leaders and makes even more urgent the case for good governance. The call upon Nigeria at this time is not to so much to compel submission in the subregion through the force of might, but to command alignment through exemplary governance. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.